My mission is to touch the nation and heal your consumer ways. What have you got for me? We've got a massive problem with broken body boards on our beaches all summer, spewing polystyrene all over our beaches. And what happens is people come on holiday and they buy cheap boards from the supermarket. They use them for a few days and then they either leave them on the beach or they just discard them by the bin. This is fantastic. It's Obviously, it's awful, but it's perfect for our programme. My only question is, which way to the beach? At the beach, I came across beach lad Martin Dory, who runs his own beachside beach clean charity out of a beach hut by the beach. Here we go, Joe. Look, this bit could be from a bodyboard, a bit of polystyrene. Fish could think that's food, they eat it. Shouldn't the fish just be less stupid, maybe? I can see quite a big thing over oh, there. Oh, look at that. Here we go. It's a cheap bodyboard. Can people use them as if they're almost kind of like a single-use item. They're full of polystyrene. When that polystyrene starts to come out, that's when you get the real problems with all the tiny bits. Yeah. It won't biodegrade. And dolphins will see that and think, oh, that's a friend. Viewers really like stats. Have you got any stats? Yeah, so in one year, in about four or five weeks, we found 600 of these. Yeah. Um, it's estimated by Keep Britain Tidy that something like 16,000 of these get chucked away and left on beaches every year. There's your stats. Here's a stat for you. Pelicans have two eyelids. Isn't that more of a fact than a stat? Yes, OK. I knew I could probably save the ocean from cheap bodyboards on my own, but I didn't want to hog all the glory for myself, so I invited along my mate and seven-time Olympic bodyboarding champion, Ginny Lemon. Ginny Lemon, fancy a slice? Oh, I am Fabs. How you doing? Yeah, what are we doing here, then? What am I doing? Bodyboards, cheap ones, are not good for the sea. Are they? Why? We just filmed a whole bit about it. Oh, yeah. The viewer doesn't need to hear about it again. Just come with me. <laughs> OK, let's go, let's go. Ginny and I decided to start attacking the bodyboard problem by putting up our own beach notices. We then decided, following a firm conversation with the lifeguard, that covering up important safety notices was probably a bad idea, and instead we headed back to town. Oh, look! A shop with bodyboards. To investigate a local surf shop selling premium, more dolphin-friendly bodyboards. Oh, a stiff flex. So it goes from F1 is stiff flex, and then F10 is soft flex. Yeah, so it gives the boards different rigidity. Right. Uh, some people like it stiffer, some people like it softer. So this is an F6, so that's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. It's like a semi. Yeah. The owner of the shop was very keen to show us one of his most Ooh. flaccid boards. Yeah. And this is about 10 years old, this bodyboard. So how much are these? Right up to £250 plus. Too fiddy. So the alternative to that is to hire um, oh. for the week. Well, that's much more sustainable, isn't it, hiring it out? Well, and the beauty of that is you hire for, say, 20, 30 quid a week. Yeah. But you get a £100 bodyboard. This seems like a very good business model to me. Thank you. I'm going to steal it. OK. Not the bodyboard, but the business model. Oh, OK. Fair enough. <sighs> that was great. That was fab. I'm going to wait for my own surf shop. Grand opening tonight. Get some flyers printed. OK, Bab. I'm going to go and get the people of Bube back together. It was time for action and for me to boss the locals about a bit. I'm going to start my own rental shop. Martin, I'm going to take over your shop. OK. Sue, Esme, Claire, I need you to ring the council. We need to ban these cheap bodyboards. Yes, yeah. Oh, hi there. I'm hoping to speak to someone regarding uh, polystyrene bodyboards, if possible. We're finding bits of bodyboards, but also loads of just the polystyrene balls. They're such an environmental disaster. It would be really nice if we could do something about it and maybe even get a ban on them. And so the grand opening was upon us. Thank you for coming, everyone. Martin. Would you like to do the honours and reveal my shop that's also inside your shop? Of course. I'm ready. Everyone ready? Yeah. <laughs> Rent Boy is open! Yeah. I want you to treat Rent Boy as yours. Do what you like with Rent Boy. But for safety, maximum two people in Rent Boy at any one time. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Who'd like a board? I think it has to be Craig Wavid. Craig Wavid, enjoy the surf. I will. Dude. Cheers. 
Can I interest you in a Wave Rooney? Or... Please, yeah. You want Wave I Rooney? Do, I do want Wave Rooney. Having the shop here and Joe and highlighting the problem is just the start of it. We're really going to get onto the council and make sure something happens about this and that we get these boards banned in view. Um, yeah, I mean, he's basically taken what we do and uh, done it in a different place. Before Joe came to our town, we were honestly at rock bottom and he just brought this shining light with him and he's just fixed Everything. And I'm sort of like Greta Thunberg, if remember I'm like Greta Thunberg. And he's pretty much Greta Thunberg as well. Um, he really has just saved our town. He's my hero. Yeah, that's fine. You can cut round when she was just waffling on. So the people of Cornwall were clearly delighted with my input, but I didn't stop there. I wrote to every single English coastal council asking them to back me. They were all surprised to hear from me, apart from Whitley Bay. We've been sexting for months. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, I got an email back inviting me to pitch polystyrene bodyboard bands to 56 councils on a Zoom call. Have a look at this. Unmute. Oh, look, I can see people. Hello. It makes a difference from my usual weekly Zoom call with the JLS boys. Everyone has their clothes on this time. <laughs> hey! I was meant to be in the Maldives currently, but Covid put an end to that, so I brought the Maldives to my office. Basically, I wanted to talk to you about bodyboards. I'm sure you've seen them. And the polystyrene balls just go into the sea. And we would like this to stop. It's a problem, I think, aren't they? Very problem for the ocean and for the, for the coast and the environment. And the World Health Organisation declared these to be potentially carcinogenic, so the fish eat them and then they go into the food chain, and that's potentially why fish fingers taste the way they do. I, I don't understand how, a, how, as a local authority, we can ban a shop selling something. And there's a place called Westwood Ho, I'm sure you're familiar with it, and they've managed to ban the sale of these cheap bodyboards in Westwood Ho shops. And so it is possible, and uh, we would like to see that happen in all of our coastal towns. North Norfolk Coast here, we're going to have to start a campaign. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Absolutely love it. The councillors are going to have to figure out the practicalities of it all, so I'm going to try and seal the deal with a bit of flirting. <laughs> I did some bodyboarding, by the way. And if you haven't tried bodyboarding, I get a feeling, Angie, you'd love it. I do bodyboarding at Overstrand. Yes, great, Angie! But believe it or not, on a very old, handmade wooden board. I'll see you out there. But Joe, I do surfing without a board. You don't need a board to surf. You can just do body surfing. Oh, sh what a show-off, David. <laughs> What I love about this is there seems to be a real enthusiasm for this campaign and everyone seems to agree that we should ban them. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I'm going back to my holiday now, so I hope you don't mind. Right, enjoy anyway. Oh, that's disgusting. Good luck, Joe. Thanks, Nick. I was told Jackie Weaver was going to be in there. I... Why did I waste my time speaking to these nobodies? Let's not make this happen again. Thank you. <laughs> This is all great. The councillors were top bants and we're going to go for a big night out. I'm thinking Chimichanga and roller disco, maybe rocked by a Yates's. Basically a Tuesday. <laughs> While they went and had a think, things started to happen. Joe, you've got some news about what's been going down, haven't you? Indeed I have. Uh, yes, uh, Great Yarmouth announced they were going to work with shops in the hope of eradicating the boards and North Norfolk and Thanet are speaking to their MPs. Torbay, Fairham, Portsmouth and Hartlepool signed up to support our campaign. That's all incredible. And on top of that, Green Party MP Caroline Lucas wrote to us. She wrote, thank you for taking the time to make me aware of Joe's excellent campaign. I would support action, so going to start a debate. But what about where it all began? Well, in a unanimous vote, Bude Council pledged to work with partners and retailers to remove the sale of bodyboards and their tourist information centre is taking part in a buyback scheme of their current stock and won't sell them next year. The whole town's going to be filled with rent, boys. My dream has come true. <laughs> and where Bude leads, the rest of the county follows. Cornwall Council, an area that hosts four million tourists a year, says... We are joining other coastal areas in supporting Channel 4's Joe Lysett's Got Your Back campaign to ban polystyrene bodyboards. We did it! 